Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I get asked about my hair color a lot because I have these kind of balayage highlights going on. And as you can see at the moment, they're looking a little bit dull and faded. And because I've just been on a sort of tropical holiday, I spent a lot of time in the sun and in the salt. And I can just see that the contrast in between my brown and my blonde highlights has faded out a little bit. When it's not quite time for me to go hit the salon and get a full, you know, hair dye, I actually refresh it at home by myself. So what I use is Schwarzkopf Brilliance, and I use the color Romantic Brown just to create a little bit of extra contrast between the darks and the lights of my hair there. So as you can see, I guess my natural color is a bit mid-brown, but I really want that to be a little bit darker and make these highlights stand out a lot more. So first you wanna open this and check out what's in there. So this is the actual color itself, and then you've got the developer in here. And all you really have to do is put the color inside the developer bottle. And then the brilliant little secret that these brilliance colors have is this little diamond gloss serum. This is amazing. Like it really, really glosses your hair up. And you're gonna see a real difference between how flat and matte it looks at the moment. And then after I put this gloss serum in my trusty little developer bottle, it's gonna look really nice and shiny. You just have to make sure that you don't get it onto any of the blonde bits and put most of it right into the root section and then just kind of smudge pieces out towards the mid lengths. Right, and when that is all in there, you can just pop your hair back and let that sit for about 30 minutes. Okay, so that's been about 30 minutes. <laughs> movie magic um, and I'm gonna jump in the shower now and wash this out so after I rinse it out I'm going to put in this color shine conditioner as well which is just gonna give that extra gloss and shine all right so I've just washed all the product out and I wanted to mention if you guys have any of this left please hold on to it because it is the bomb so the next couple of times that you wash your hair definitely use this because it's just gonna lock that color right in and make it super shiny the next couple of washes as well now I'm gonna dry it and get it ready so you can see the final result now I'm not done yet but you can already see the super nice contrast there in between the dark bits and the blonde bits, so that is making me very happy. Okay, so you can already see how much glossier. I've just blow dried it, but see how that dark bit at the top is just looking really nice and strong. And then these light bits here, there's just a proper contrast there now. And once I style that up and throw a few curls into it, it's gonna look super fresh. <laughs> Ooh, look at that nice shine. See, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, look at the shine on these curls. Okay, so this is the final result. Here we go. You can see how the top of my head is a lot nicer and darker and it's brought that extra shine into all of the rest of my hair because of that beautiful gloss serum. And so th this is just what I do when I have a big event or a photo shoot. I just do that half an hour and throw on a face mask or something, have a nice cup of green tea and relax a little bit to get ready for my big event. So that's my little trick of the trade. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys have like an ombre or a balayage style color, it's super easy to upkeep, you know? So these are the little tricks that you can do to keep it looking really fresh and awesome. And it doesn't cost a lot at all. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>